So we got this example from the Scuttler book, chapter 2, is actually example number 6. We're going to size a plug flow reactor in series. As I told you before, it's exactly the same, so if you want to jump it, you can jump it, but yeah, just stick around to see what happens. Using either data from this or this figure, calculate the reactor volume, V1 and V2, for a plug flow reactor sequence shown in figure 2.7, which I don't have, but I draw it. And the first one is going to achieve 40% and the second one is going to achieve until 80%. The total flow rate is this one. So probably you're familiar with this one. We are doing exactly the same one, same conditions, same values. We're just having two PFRs. So my tips are calculate volume 1, calculate volume 2, and then do it if you were going to do it only one, which we already did. If you want to go to that, that video, you can check it and you will see that we have the same value. So let's do this analysis. We have vol volume of 1 equals the entering and the integral of 0 to x1 here. The rate of reaction is here and let's do trapezoid rule. So I got my values here, my intervals, 0.1, 0.2. So I got these different intervals, they are not the same, that's the cool about the trapezoid rule, you can use different intervals and there's no problem. Now I'm going to calculate the heights, I got them from the, this here, actually let me show you where, I got them here. So I got this value here, I got them here, but of course only until 40%. So this is 0%, this is 10%, this is 20%, and this is 40%. Uh, I calculate them. This doesn't make sense because you cannot calculate the an average with only one unit. So you need two units like this, two units like this, and you keep. And I got the average height of each of my blocks. So now I got the how large is the base, and I have how large is my average height. So I just multiply it. I got the area of each of my units until 40%. From 0 to 40 and then just add them up and you got this value here is it at 40% you will need this volume here now it's time to do it on this second reactor here now look how I use volume 2 equals look the limits I'm not going to use x0 of course we are ready in this 40% and we're going to integrate until 80% now, I do reference this to my initial value because these are global conversions. You have doubts of how I got this? Check it out. Uh, rate of reaction is the same. Well, not the same. We're actually using the table, so the rate of reaction depends on the conversion you're using. And multiply by my differential volume. Now, volume 2 equals this, 0 0.8, 0 0.4. What are my intervals is this one, 0.4, 40% 40% to 60%, 60% to 70% and 70% to 80%. So I got different intervals which is cool for the trapezoid rule. And yeah, I, I'm going to use exactly this data from the table before, where is it? This table. So I'm going to use these values, 3.55 and 8. 3.5. 5 and 8, okay, this does not make sense, then the average is this, this and this. And I got this here from here, these are my intervals, these are the heights or average heights. I just multiply them, I got the area of each of my, let's say, trapezoids, will be something like this. Trapezoid 1, 2 and 3. And if I add them, I will get the area needed. So as you can see, I got the value of volume 1 and volume 2. This is 0.55 and this is 1.64. So in total, I got 2.19 cubic meters, which is exactly the same value, or not exactly the same, but it's very similar to the value we just calculated before. So why is that? Let's calculate the intervals. We got 0 to 0 0.1, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0.4. And now here's the very important part. From 0.4 we jump to 0.678. So there's continuity. Mathematically, we are continuing from x's here and x's right here. 
What else? Uh, let's analyze the these factors. You can see that you have this area, this area, and this area, and you got this area, and this area, and this area. So if I got this curve, I got zero to forty percent. 60%, 70%, and 80%. So actually what I just did is I got this, this, and this here, which are these three here. No, sorry. There's another one here until 40. And then I did this, this, and this. So technically I have all the areas. So if I would have calculated this independently and this independently, I would got B1 and B2. So the total volume will still be 2.1. And more graphically, so you can understand it, is I got my 40% here, I calculated this integral area under this curve, and then the second is here. And uh, yeah, I'm set. I think that's not that difficult to get, so I think we can continue. Look, it's the same area. You got one PFR, two PFR, it will be the same. So guys, if you need more problems, because this is a super fast course, if you need to practice more, go and check out this webpage. I got uh, some courses on chemical engineering. Go to reactor engineering, and I will have a lot of solved problems, especially the problems on the back of the book. Every chapter has, for example, chapter two, conversion and reactor sizing has some problems so you want to check them out go and, uh, and check the web page and this is the next topic so see you in next video what's up guys it's me chemical engineering guy so if you like the video why not push the like button it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.